It was 1965 in Macomb, Mississippi. During that long, hot summer, civil rights activists in the Mississippi Freedom Democratic Party circulated and published the following petition, one of the first against the war in Vietnam. The name of this tune is Mississippi Goddamn. Good evening. I said good evening, y'all. There are five reasons why Negroes should not be in any war fighting for America. Number one, no Mississippi Negro should be fighting in Vietnam for the white man's freedom until all the Negro people are free in Mississippi. Number two, Negro boys should not honor the draft here in Mississippi. Mothers should encourage their sons not to go. Number three, we will gain respect and dignity as a race only by forcing the U.S. government and the Mississippi government to come with guns, dogs, and trucks to take our sons away to fight and be killed protecting Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, and Louisiana. Number four, no one has the right to ask us to risk our lives and kill other colored people in Santo Domingo and Vietnam so that the white American can get richer. We will be looked upon as traitors by all the colored people of the world if the Negro people continue to fight and die without a cause. And last in number five, last week, a white soldier from New Jersey was discharged from the army because he refused to fight in Vietnam. He went on a hunger strike. Negro boys can do the same thing. We can write, ask our sons if they know what they're fighting for. If he answers freedom, you tell him that's what we're fighting for right here in Mississippi. Mm. And if he says democracy, tell him the truth. Tell him we don't know anything about communism and socialism and all that. But what we do know is that Negroes have caught hell right here in Mississippi under this American democracy.